Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the technical uh, market update. Today is Tuesday the 12th of May and I hope you all are doing fairly well. Now in front of me I have the daily chart of the US dollar index and as you can see from mid-June July the market was in a pretty strong uh, uptrend here. And now what's happening is that the market seems to be pulling back and is retracing this broader up move. So the question is, are we, is this move down in the dollar the beginning of a larger retracement or will we get a, a move back up to the upside to challenge this 100, uh, 100 dollar level on the index and the key to this will be to see if the market is able to close uh, definitively or below these lows here let me just draw a red line here if the market is able to a daily close and what would be even better a weekly close below uh this 90 93.50 area the exact low is 93.41 if the market is able to close below 93.41, it will signal that this pullback has some some further uh, room to go uh, in the US dollar index. Okay, so how does that translate to the rest of currencies? Uh, the euro, uh, which, is, which is almost the exact opposite of the US dollar index. Uh, I believe the euro is about 58% of of the the US dollar index or it makes up 58% of the US dollar index that level on the euro the critical level is this 115 level if we close above 115 that could signal a larger pullback in the market when I mean a larger pullback I mean that the market could retrace uh, as much as 50% 50 percent of this move down so we could see a move this is over the longer term we could see a move up to the 122 or even up to the one or sorry 1.22 level or the 1.26 level now this is not going to happen overnight but this if if this 115 area is breached i suspect that the market will head up to that level now if this area is not breached um, and the market starts to move back down we would then challenge the the low which was about 104 104.50 or so we will challenge this low and we'll see if the market even trades below uh, that low so that's the long-term outlook of of the US dollar okay taking a look at the Canadian dollar versus the USD uh, I said Earlier in the earlier last month, that the market broke resist support and is heading down. Now, clues to see if this market is going to head further down. We want to see the market close below this consolidation area here. This is the daily chart of the USD Canadian dollar. If I take it down to the the four hour charts, you can see this level here we want to see the market close below uh, this level and if that does happen we could see further selling uh, in the USD Canadian uh, dollar taking a look at the breakout from yesterday the market of the British pound Australian dollar and the market is pulling back slightly and don't be surprised if the market even comes back to test this this breakout point, this this downtrend line. The market may come back down and test this this line before heading uh, back up. Uh, that is definitely not shocking. But the longer term resistance in this market is up here at the two dollar level. Uh, if the market trades up to the two dollar level which is almost 380 pips from here uh 
we will see how strong the bulls are in this market to see if we can punch above uh, this $2 level. And as I said, for our portfolio members, we are currently long uh, this market. Another market of great interest is this British pound Japanese yen. And just some historical context, this market broke out of this downtrending triangle well this down trending uh, this down trend line from the high the market broke it came back tested it as you can see here remember prior resistance now becomes support that's a rule of technical analysis and while it doesn't harm all the time it is definitely a good baseline for us so the market came back down tested the support area and has bounced uh, back up to the upside and i suspect we may soon cha challenge this 180 88 the actual high is 189 71 level so i expect the market to challenge the, that 189 uh, 71 high in british pound japanese yen uh, taking a look at just the japanese yen alone as you can see strong support is at this 118.50 50 level sorry 118.50 and this market is actually just very calm and not doing much uh, as you can see over the last since December uh, this market has just been uh, channeling, channeling uh, between 122 and 116 this is the bigger channel here as you can see now which way will this market go will it break to the upside or will it break to the downside and for it to break to the downside the first clue would it would have to break below this 118 level if it breaks below 118 then it will then test this 116 level and a close below 116 would signify to me that this market has probably reversed and and going short would be prudent that's a long-term picture in in the usd uh japanese yen another market that we spoke about yesterday was the british pound and the bulls it it's very promising for the bulls in the pound because we're able to close above the swing high here. Uh, and a daily close above that swing high, we had further follow through buying in the pound, which is very positive uh, for the bulls. The next area of resistance on the pound is at 158. 158 here. As you can see. And remember, uh, we receive a lot of questions about uh, analysis and how to predict the markets. And my view is let the market lead the way. Uh, let the market show its hand, let the market tell you what it's doing, and then you follow the prevailing trend. So, for example, the trend on the four-hour chart for the British pound is clearly up. It was down and now it's it's clearly up you're in an uptrend on the four hour chart uh for the british pound so swing traders uh, would w it would be it would be pr more prudent to be buying dips as opposed to looking for short opportunities at this time so that's what i mean let the market show the way if the market is in an uptrend, then you should be buying. If it's in a downtrend, then you should be selling. It's really, it's it's not really so much about predicting where the market is going, but actually following what the market is doing. And we also receive a lot of questions about is it possible to make uh, to trade consistently? I believe it's possible because. That's exactly what we're doing. I mean, it took some time to 
to master the market so i'm not going to tell you okay you can mark master the markets in a week it took some time to mar master the markets and uh, one of the things with with someone who has gone through the the process of mastering the markets is that he can simply show you the correct route show you uh, the mistakes that 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 has been made and for you not to make these uh, mistakes because uh, the feedback we're getting from these daily emails I mean the mistakes that traders are making are common mistakes and just with some some guidance uh, these mistakes can be avoided but I can tell you that once you learn how to trade pr profitably it is a lifetime skill you will have forever and ever and you can use that skill uh, well into your retirement uh, as long as there's a computer with a screen and you have your eyesight, you will be able to trade these markets. Okay, thank you very much for listening to the daily update. And as usual, if you want to take advantage of the signals that we are sending, uh, click on the link below. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel uh, and you will always get these daily market updates thank you very much for listening and have a wonderful day